Hello, my new and growing family. Welcome back to my channel. So we have a couple of positions that you definitely have to stay tuned for. We have five that we are talking about that is ranging anywhere from part-time to full-time, from an entry level all the way to a senior management position, from simple pay all the way up to six figures. Hello. So definitely stay tuned. Let's get started with the first because you know I don't want to have this video be 20 million years long. So <laughs> let's get started with the first one. All right, so let's start off with the first position is with a company called Sedgwick. Now they are looking for a part-time weekend entry level customer service coordinator representative. So if you are looking for a position that requires no prior experience, which hello, that is a bonus. If you're looking for something like that, definitely stay tuned, especially if you're a stay at home mom or dad, or you're in college, or you're just someone who's like, I just need something on the side hustle. They require no prior experience and they are part time. Now they are looking for somebody who is enthusiastic to fill the variety of entry level roles, which is including the customer service representative, uh, a disability coordinator and a client service coordinator coordinator. So the ideal candidate for them is someone who's going to thrive in a collaborative team environment, show motivation and drive in their work ethic and are customer oriented and naturally empathetic and solution focused. Now your responsibilities for this position is going to be somewhat about providing excellent customer service to external customers and internal support to an assigned team, act as a liaison between customers and team members, provide detailed notes on phone calls and track um, and code documentation according to standard processes, educate and inform customers about processes, timelines, and status of inquiries via multiple uh, communication channels, resolve issues with one call, one person responses, direct calls to appropriate escalation path, track trends, investigate customer feedback, assist with develop, um, developing corrective preventative actions, and perform administrative tasks. Now the qualifications for this type of a position is they want you to have a high school diploma or a GED, which is required, um, strong oral and written communication, computer literative skills, including Microsoft Office and organizational skills are required, and experience Experience as far as clerical or customer service um, experience or equivalency is preferred. So it's not required, it is preferred. If you have some, perfect. If you don't, then that's fine too. Now, since this is entry level, they do give you some nice perks for this position. They're going to offer a world-class training program with a comprehensive curriculum and assigned mentor and manager that will support and guide you on your career journey. That way you're not just jumping into this on your own and just kind of like diving in, not knowing what you're getting into. They're going to add some help and some training, a career development and promotional growth opportunities, and a diverse and comprehensive uh, benefits offering, including medical, dental, vision, 401k, PTO, and more. So if that seems like this is definitely something for you, you like this kind of a position, then we're going to scroll all the way up to the very, very top and click on that apply button and get started with the part-time weekend entry level. Now for you guys who are looking for part-time, this will, don't sleep on this position. Don't sleep on this position because I know sometimes you guys will message and say, hey, get something for part-time. This is it, you guys, don't sleep. So press that apply button and get yourself started at Sedgwick. All right, let's go on to the next. All right, so our next position is with a company called GoFundMe. Now, you guys know GoFundMe. You tell your story, you ask for a little bit of help financially, and people who want to participate um, donate to your cause. Now, they are looking for a senior manager customer success uh, position. Now, for this job, they want you to be able to create and deliver quantitative individual and team account management expectations, including accounting for inflex situations such as supporting fundraisers and organizers when large scale crisis moments occur, build team expansion strategy with existing customers and a capacity model leveraging return on investment impact, develop a customer relationship management technology strategy, uh, proactively report on team status and performance trajectory to upper customer experience management, develop new materials, oversee the customer interaction process and monthly data collection, manage, maintain a deep understanding of their project or their product and subsidiary product to speak with customers about and manage team schedules based on customer schedules, estimated hours, tasks, milestones. So they also want you to have management of uh, responsible for the performance 
and growth of team managers, support the team in accomplishing objectives tied to vision, create clear areas of responsibility and ownership, maintain a forward thinking team that adjusts and experiments effectively, provide support on top tier customer escalations and advise on day to day team and crisis management as needed. Now for you, they want you to be a deep, uh, a critical deep thinker and analytical uh, proficient, professional, and experienced with engaging with public figures, communicates clearly, concisely, and directly, advanced in Salesforce. So if you don't know what Salesforce is, go on to YouTube University and kind of brush yourself up if you can, or go on to salesforce.com and kind of see if they have something for you. Experience and quota team goal curation. Requires no direction on assigned objectives, drives team momentum and culture, strong cross-functional partnership, strong presentation and meeting leading skills, uh, strategic problem solver with the ability to think and respond quickly in front of customers, approaches, objectives, and problem solving with a can-do mentality, showcases humility and accountability, and takes initiative to evolve team strategies and support their needs. Now, what we love talking about, which is the benefits, the perks of why they want you to work with them. You're going to have a market competitive pay, rich healthcare benefits, including employer paid premiums for medical, dental, vision, um, 100% for employee from, um, only plans, 85% for employee and dependent plans, 401k retirement, a hybrid workplace with fully remote flexibilities for many other roles, which this is one of them, monetary support for new hire setup, a hybrid work and well being family planning and commuting expenses, a variety of mental and wellness uh, programs, generous paid parental leave and family planning stipend. I mean, the list goes on and on people about what it is that you are going to get by working with GoFundMe. If that doesn't sound good so far, this is going to seal the deal for you. The total annual salary for this full-time position is $135,000 $135,000 to $180,000 plus equity plus benefits. And it is a remote position, people. So who you know shelling out the dollars for that? For you to work at home from the comfort of your own house with slippers on. Hello? So if this seems like this is something from you, go fund me sounds like go fund me. <laughs> And so you're going to go all the way down to the bottom where you're going to apply for this job and enter all of your information. Don't forget that cover letter. This is one of those positions you need it. Go all the way down, answer all those questions, and then click on that submit application right there. Get yourself to be in the senior manager for the customer success with GoFundMe. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next. All right, so our next position is with a company called ShareCare. Okay, so we had covered a position with ShareCare before. So now we're going to double back with them because they have more things that are available. Now, this is a company that delves into the healthcare industry, and they are looking for an enrollment specialist. It is a remote position. And for what this position is entailing, they want you to be able to have under the general supervision of an operations manager, uh, have the primary responsibility of ensuring the population's understanding of the program and setting the member's expectations of an access to the services provided. Now you're gonna provide assistance to the program team members and perform clerical work as required. The position requires excellent communication, customer service and sales skills, as well as the ability to build trust and credibility while working independently and exercising sound judgment and initiative. Now this position, position um, has a work schedule that you can work anywhere in the U.S. and the position will start on July 10th. So we are catching it right on time and a successful candidate will be assigned to one of the following shifts. So from 10 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 10.30 to 7.30 Central or 11 to 7.30 p.m. Central. So if you're like, I'm not trying to get up first thing in the morning, these schedules will be definitely for you. Now, the essential functions is telephonically communicating and engage members into the program by effectively building trust and credibility while receiving inbound and making outbound calls. Um, for inbound, you're gonna just greet them appropriately. And for outbound, you're gonna self-identify their name and program and just get all their information. You're gonna put, uh, possess solid knowledge of the programs and services and set the expectations of service with members, accurately collect um, inputs and updates data provided by members into the SIS in a timely manner. 
facilitate communications, provide administrative support, um, initiate and manage a variety of complex files, other duties that are assigned, preparing and processing data, um, and sufficiently cross-training uh, to provide administrative support to all members of the team as needed. And the position requires a responsive, uh, committed individual who recognizes the impact of the healthcare delivery system on the clinical and financial outcomes of the member population. Now, the qualifications for this position is they need this for somebody who has a GED or a high school diploma. Um, college work is desirable. You don't have to have that, but if you do, great. A minimum of three years experience in customer service and sales driven environment and or customer service in a related healthcare field is preferred. So it's not required. It is just preferred. So if you have any kind of customer service skills, retail, any kind of thing, make sure that you put that on down. Possesses a computer competency to include uh, work processing, or sorry, word processing, spreadsheet, graphics, and database management, strong commu computer skills, and the ability to navigate through multiple programs, language skills, effective um, oral listening and written communication skills, math ability, and reasoning ability. Now, the pay rate for this position right now is $15.50 per hour. So that's what they're looking for for this type of a position for the enrollment specialist. This is perfect for if you just kind of like, I need something, I need to get in, I want to do something that's not so hardcore, but yet I know I can thrive in and there's going to be some opportunities for it in the future. This is definitely for you. So you're going to go up to the top. Click that apply button and get yourself going with being the enrollment specialist for share care. All right, you guys, on to the next one. All right, so our next positions is with a company called United Health Group. Now, they have two positions that I definitely want to talk to you guys about. You guys know how I love to double dip it. When a company has multiple positions, I definitely love talking about it. And this is a position, or this is a company that actually has positions in other countries as well. So you're going to have to do some research about it. But they do have other uh, positions available in a bunch of other different companies. So right now, we're just going to talk about the U.S.-based ones. But they do have other ones, so definitely keep your research on it. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is they're looking for a clinical administrative coordinator. It is a remote position, and they are looking for somebody who can fulfill a full-time position, so 40 hours a week, Monday through Friday, uh, for an eight-hour shift and scheduling during the normal business hours of 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Time. So... For somebody like this, they're looking for the primary responsibilities that who manage administrative intake of members, work with hospitals, clinics, facilities, and the clinical team to manage requests for services from members and or providers, process incoming and outgoing referrals and prior authorizations, including intake, notification, and census roles, assist the clinical staff with setting up documents, triage cases for clinical coverage review, and who can handle resolution inquiries from uh, members and or providers. Now, this is a high volume customer service environment. You'll need to be efficient, productive, and thorough dealing with their members over the phone. And you also must be able to work a flexible schedule that includes evening hours. So if you're comfortable with something who has kind of like a flexible schedule, who sometimes you like to work in the morning, sometimes more so towards the evening, definitely have something like that for you. Now, the requirements for this one is a high school diploma or a GED, one year um, or more of prior medical authorization experience and medical terminology, experience with, med with Microsoft Word, Excel, and Outlook, the ability to work a flexible eight-hour shift between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, and occasional overtime. So if you're looking for it to extra monies, they got that overtime available for you. Now, the preferred qualifications, you don't have to have it, but if you do, that's always great. The experience working in a call center, knowledge of ICD-10 and CPT codes, clerical or administrative support background, experience working in a hospital, physician's office, or medical clinic setting, and experience working within the healthcare industry and with healthcare insurance. Now, because this is a telecommunicating um, position, a remote position, they want you to make sure that you are required to have a dedicated work area established that is separated from your other living areas and that provides information privacy, the ability to keep all company sensitive documents secure, and you must live in a location that can receive a United Health Group um, approved high speed internet connection. Now, for what we like to talk about when it comes to the pay. Now, if you live in these types of areas, the Colorados, Californias, Connecticut, all of these areas over here, 
the salary range for you guys are going to be um, $16 to $31.44 per hour. Now, what you're going to get um, when working with United Health Group, now you guys love, I love talking about the perks. You're going to get a comprehensive um, benefits package, incentive and recognitions program, equity stock purchase, don't sleep on those, and a 401k contribution. So, if this seems like it is something for you, you want to get involved, you're going to go all the way down to the very, very bottom and you're going to click that apply button and get yourself started with United Health Group um, for this position. Let's go on to the next one. All right, so our last position is staying with United Health Group as the customer service representative. Now, if you guys have stayed with this this long, you know what I'm gonna say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you get um, updated when those new videos come out so you have the opportunity to put your application in first and get your stuff seen. Now. This position for the customer service representative, they are looking as a remote position that you can work anywhere in the U.S. And they're looking for a full-time uh, person who's going to do Monday through Friday and between the hours of 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So for this position, your primary responsibilities are going to be answering incoming phone calls from patients and third-party vendors to identify the type of assistance the caller needs, focus on resolving issues on the first call, um, deliver information and answer questions in a positive manner to facilitate strong relationships with client customers, complete the documentation necessary to track provider um, is issues, and this role is equally challenging and rewarding. You're going to be interacting with providers with the intent to develop a relationship with them. Within a high volume setting, you'll be um, you'll need to develop knowledge of uh, their various products and multiple levels of benefits within each product in order to best assist their providers and customers. So for the requirements for this position, they want you to have a high school diploma um, or a GED, um, one plus years of experience in written uh, correspondence with clients or customers. So like customer service kind of situation, a one plus year of experience in customer service call center environment, familiarity with computer and Windows computer applications, um, and the ability to work full time Monday through Friday during the normal business hours of 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So for the preferred qualifications, you don't have to have this, but if you do, definitely highlight this, a prior healthcare experience. Um, and because it's a telecommunicating kind of job, once again, dedicated work area, able to be able to uh, keep all company material sensitive and documents secured. And you must live into an area that can receive a United Health Group approved um, high speed internet connection. Uh, now, a soft skills is what they're talking about, is to demonstrate the ability to listen carefully um, and skillfully collect the relevant information, build rapport and respond to customers in a compassionate manner and skilled in problem solving to quickly assess current state and formulate recommendations. Now, for the compensation for this, if you live in the California, Colorado, you see all of these states, this is only for you guys. Um, the pay range is going to be around $16 to $27 and 31 cents. Now, you still get, um, and this will come um, all the way around, you're still going to get a competitive benefits package, incentive and recognitions programs, equity stock purchase, and 401k contribution. So if this seems like something for you, you kind of want to just be at home, but you still can do customer service, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom, click that apply button, and start your way on being the customer service representative with United Health Group. All right, you guys. So we just blasted through five positions all the way through. You know, I'm trying to get them in, in and out so you can get those applications in and get your chance in. So thank you for staying with me this long. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. We're going to be going on to some more positions. I'm going to probably be doubling these things up because I'm finding so many of them. And I want to make sure you guys can get as much money as possible for 2023. All right, you guys. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Stay safe. Stay positive. And I will see you guys on the next video. All right. Bye.